It's truly an engineering marvel and it is able to lift ship up to 3,000 tons. So astonishing. China literally navigates above the mountains. This is a massive concrete wall stretching up into the sky. But this isn't just any wall. It's part of the largest hydroelectric dam ever built. And what you're about to witness isn't just water flowing or electricity being generated. No, you're about to see something that would make ancient engineers drop their jaws in disbelief. A massive ship weighing thousands of tons about to be lifted straight up into the air as if gravity itself had taken a lunch break. This is happening right now in China, where massive cargo vessels and boats navigate not just through water, but literally above mountains. Buckle up to discover the wonders of engineering that make lifting ships into the air possible. But first, don't forget to show your support by giving this video a like and subscribe to the channel. Together, we can continue creating amazing content. Rivers have been the highways of civilization since ancient times, but nature doesn't always cooperate with our need for smooth sailing. Sometimes you've got mountains in the way, or massive elevation changes that make it impossible for ships to continue their journey. In the past, we built locks, basically water elevators that would raise or lower ships bit by bit. But China? China looked at this age-old problem and said, we're gonna do something different. Something bigger, much bigger. Enter the Three Gorges Dam Ship Lift, a colossal piece of engineering that could take a vessel weighing up to 3,000 metric tons and lift it 113 meters straight up into the air. That's like taking a fully loaded cargo ship and elevating it to the height of a 37-story building. And it does this in just 40 minutes. But how exactly does this mechanical marvel work? Imagine a giant water-filled box. And when I say giant, I mean giant. We're talking about a chamber that's 120 meters long, 18 meters wide, and 3.5 meters deep. That's big enough to hold multiple ships at once. But the real magic happens behind the scenes, where an intricate system of 256 ropes connected to 128 double rope pulleys works in perfect harmony to make this massive lift possible. Think about it like this. When you're in an elevator, you probably don't think much about the cables holding you up. Now multiply that by about a thousand, and you'll start to get an idea of what we're dealing with here. But while the Three Gorges Dam ship lift was making headlines as an engineering marvel, China was quietly working on something even more ambitious, something that would make ships literally sail above the mountains. Welcome to the Gupidan ship lift, currently the world's largest ship lift system. This is a network of three massive lifts connected by elevated waterways and tunnels. Here, the ships sail into what looks like a giant elevator, only to emerge minutes later on what amounts to a water bridge in the sky. The Gupidin can lift vessels weighing up to 500 tons to a height of 199 meters. That's like sailing to the top of a 65-story skyscraper. But what makes the Gupidin truly unique isn't just its height, it's the entire system. Those ships are traveling through a complex network of elevated aqueducts and tunnels that span 2.3 kilometers. It's literally a water highway in the sky, allowing ships to traverse mountainous terrain as if it were flat ocean. Each of the three lifts in the system can handle up to 1,800 tons and moves at a speed of 8 meters per minute. That might not sound fast, but when you're lifting something heavier than four fully loaded Boeing 747s, it's pretty impressive. The system is so well designed that while one ship is being lifted in the first elevator, another can already be making its way through the second stage, maximizing efficiency and reducing wait times. As a result, the system's design capacity is 2.928 million tons of cargo per year. This is unprecedented, until you look at the bigger picture. Because China isn't the only one taking all the credit for ship lift engineering. Around the world, engineers have been creating their own impressive solutions to the age-old problem of getting ships over obstacles. Let's take a quick tour of some of the most notable ones. Let's travel back to 1976 when the Soviet Union was still in the heart of Russia because back then, the Krasnoyarsk ship lift emerged as a unique solution to a complex problem. Instead of lifting ships straight up like an elevator, the Soviets went diagonal. Picture a massive railway, but instead of carrying trains, it carries an entire platform with ships floating inside. The track gauge alone is 9 meters wide. That's three times wider than a standard railway. Ships sail onto a giant platform that's submerged underwater like a sunken stage in an aquatic theater. Then, this entire platform, carrying up to 1,500 tons of vessel and water, begins its diagonal journey. 
It travels along a massive 1,180-meter dryway track, climbing up an incline that ultimately raises ships by 104 meters. But this isn't just one track. At the top, there's a massive turntable with a diameter of 106 meters. Like some gigantic record player, it rotates the entire platform 140 degrees, allowing ships to continue their journey. The whole system's powered by 156 motors working in perfect synchronization. Fast forward to 2002, and we find ourselves in Belgium, looking at what was then the world's tallest boat, the Strapey Thute. This marvel of engineering took 20 years to build and cost 160 million euros, but what it accomplished was worth every cent. This one is like two giant water-filled boxes, each able to hold vessels up to 112 meters long, moving up and down like counterweights in a cosmic scale balance. Each of these caissons, as they're called, is supported by 112 suspension cables and 32 control cables. That might sound like overkill, but here's the clever part. Thanks to Archimedes' principle, these boxes weigh exactly the same whether they're carrying a massive barge or just water. The engineers designed it so precisely that the tension in each control cable never exceeds 100 kN, about the weight of 10 adult elephants. And this perfect balance means it takes surprisingly little energy to lift vessels 37.15 meters into the air. But if you want to see something that looks like it came straight out of a science fiction movie, you need to visit Scotland's Falkirk Wheel. This is a structure that takes the classic Celtic double-headed axe design and turns it into a rotating water lift. The wheel consists of two opposing arms extending 15 meters from a central axle, each holding a water-filled caisson that can carry up to four 20-meter-long canal boats. Despite its massive size, 35 meters in diameter, it uses remarkably little power to operate. Would you believe it only takes 22.5 kilowatts to turn this entire structure? That's about the same energy as boiling eight kettles of water. The wheel maintains perfect balance by ensuring each Kaisen always contains exactly 250,000 liters of water, with automated systems keeping the water levels within 37 millimeters of each other. When boats enter or exit, their weight is perfectly offset by the water they displace, maintaining this delicate equilibrium. And just when you think we've reached the pinnacle of ship lift technology, the United States is about to raise the bar, literally. In Mobile, Alabama, Austell USA is breaking ground on a platform nearly one and a half football fields long and wide enough to accommodate the largest naval vessels. It's an upcoming project, but it promises to be the future of maritime engineering. Why? Because the new facility will be capable of lifting vessels weighing up to 18,000 tons. That's six times heavier than what the Three Gorges lift can handle. The engineers have designed it with future expansion in mind including the capability to extend the platform to handle even larger ships and submarines. The project's awarded to Pearlson Shiplift Corporation as a strategic investment in America's maritime future, designed to support the construction and maintenance of everything from the Navy's Constellation-class frigates to the Coast Guard's Heritage-class offshore patrol cutters. When completed, it'll be the largest ship lift on the Gulf Coast and the widest in all of the Americas. But will it really become a reality and dethrone China's mighty Three Gorges? That remains to be seen. For now, keep an eye on Visionary, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you'll be the first to know when it's all set. Until next time, 